Moses led some of the craziest people in the planet except at the eighth end of his life Moses his back wasn't hurting his eyes were not dimmed he was healthy as a bull strong the Bible says he was full of vitality these people were driving him crazy you may say what kept this man physically emotionally strong he would disappear for 30 days and talk to God so close his face facial fabric was changed I believe when we put Jesus and take time with him we change I know this is not deep but you won't drown there and this is the part you don't go say hallelujah this is the part that you say Lord help me to do it and then you make a decision and you start doing it today or you start doing it tomorrow what I love about Martha is that when I put the presence of God over my progress I will help put people over projects and God will give me peace over pressure Martha teaches me this if I put God's presence over my progress meaning instead of trying to focus on my progress and I'm a progress guy I need to reach the goals I need to I need to meet the quota I need to I, I, I'm a I'm a progress guy show me the numbers guy Jesus is ready where's the sandwich where's the lettuce where's the tomatoes I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm wired for progress I, I need progress and to, for me to stop the progress and and focus on his presence but then I realized when I focus on his presence he will help me to focus on people because if I don't focus on his presence from progress I always focus on projects and I don't see people I'm just gonna be very honest with you confession time a lot of times when I'm so focused on the progress I see projects make sure they're done and people as a means to fulfill those projects and the goal is not to change me how I see people it's first to change how I see God God is to be enjoyed not just God as a means to reach my projects and when I see God as someone that I can enjoy his word is something that feeds me people I begin to notice people I begin to stop for people I begin to be aware of people and it's not just projects it's people that we're building not projects we're accomplishing and the third thing is always the benefit I benefit the most because I don't have pressure I have peace I don't have tension I don't sleep scheduling things at planning center <laughs> I don't sleep texting you know telling them change this change that why is that part wasn't hanged why was that part removed why was that paper in the, the parking lot I sleep with peace not with tension and pressure and I'm not woke up and I'm already sp speaking in my sleep and I'm speaking about ministry some of you are like that with your work some of you are like that with your kids you don't have peace because you don't see people and you don't see people because you don't see the presence you see your progress and from your progress you look at projects and from project you have pressure and that's why Peter is telling the church he says we are focusing on projects we are focusing on progress and we are we have a lot of pressure people are complaining he says let's stop all of that let's push the brakes and he says I want to go back to continually spend time with Jesus I have this verse printed on the back door of my office and it says this it is not desirable for you Vlad to run everything you have to give yourself to prayer and you have to give yourself to the Word of God